time for Sunday brunch. For decades, Ann Byrne has been known as the cake mix doctor, and now she's sharing more original recipes in her new book, A New Take on Cake. Ann Byrne joining us live this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Great to be here. We're, we are very glad to have you, and this is really a unique recipe that you're gonna guide us through today, touching on all of the nostalgia of childhood in a cake. Exactly. And it's perfect for winter time. And if we get snow, it's a great snowed in recipe because the ingredients are right here, probably in your kitchen. And it's called a peanut butter and jelly snack cake. And it comes from a new book, a new take on cake. Mm -hmm. And I love it because, you know, you just start with a box of cake mix, yellow or butter recipe. I add a little bit of flour, a quarter cup. It bulks it up a little bit, a couple of eggs, two eggs a little bit of vegetable oil, so you've got that. Mm -hmm. And then I use a, four, a one and a quarter cup of milk, but I, I like to use coconut milk. It's always in the pantry, or you can use evaporated milk or um, or just fresh milk, whole milk from your fridge. Is that canned and then, coconut and then, milk, Anne? Yes, I love to bake with coconut milk. Mm. It's it's It just makes cake so velvety, and you know what, it's always there. I always have it. So, so how, it's cool. how much peanut butter did you just put in there? I put um, a half a cup. Okay. So now, Ann, are you crunchy or smooth? <laughs> you know, I think that's up to you. Because I like to, I keep smooth, but you know, when I go and visit my daughter and son-in-law, they eat crunchy, so I eat crunchy. Um, and I think crunchy would work in here great. Oh. And you see, I'm just making it with a wooden spoon because I learned a long time ago with television, you know, you stay away from electric mixers. <laughs> the beaters can eject and, and wind up, you know, and everything on the front of you. But so this is perfectly kid friendly or no electric mixer because then we have batter. And I'm going to put the batter right into a 9 13 pan, my, my trusty pan. Did you flour that or what, what did you? I did, you can grease and flour it, but I actually lined it with a little bit of wax paper. Okay. Kind of really kind of old school there. Or you could use parchment paper, but it just makes, you know, it just makes getting it out of the pan so much easier. So then I'm just gonna use my peanut buttery spatula, smooth it out, and then the crowning touch, look in your fridge, and find out what jelly or preserves you have. And for me, we had a whole lot of strawberry. So you just take a half a cup of preserves and I'm just gonna dollop it on. And there your you book go. is called A New Take on Cake. What do you mean by that? I mean that I want you to look at baking a cake differently than you did before. You know, the cakes we bake today are not the, uh, not the cakes that maybe our grandmother's made or our mother's made. They're a lot easier. And for me, I became the cake mix doctor because I wanted people to bake. I want you to bake from scratch, but I want you to feel good about baking, even if you have to use a cake mix. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna swirl this in. Messy is better. Mm -hmm. oh. And then that goes into a 350 oven for about 30 minutes. And then what you get, you know, are these beautiful, it comes up beautifully, and then I just dust it with a little confectioner sugar. That looks but the, when, But back to your question, which is a really good one. I like to bake in nine by 13 pans. I love to bake in buns, loaf pans. So the whole book is about looking at baking easy, but making it fun and making it just a little bit different. And you say this is great because for what you just made, if you have people coming over at the last minute, you could just whip this up really quickly, right? Because you've got everything in the pantry. You have everything here. Eggs, oil, some kind of milk. You probably have peanut butter and jelly. You need a cake mix, but you know, they stay in the pantry for a year. So it's, you know, you have everything and you can make it a day ahead. And another great thing about, you know, you start with a mix, it's a little bit cheating, but the cakes are really moist. Oh, and it's not so, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you can you can make it a day ahead. You can even freeze this cake oh. and pull it out of the freezer. So Very it's nice. A great. 
Great idea. The book is called A New Take on Cake, and it's available now. You can also find more online at Ann Burr.